All right, what I want to do is I want to blur out how many subscribers that I have. That's my sense of information. I've recorded a 20 second or so clip for this example. You want to click on that clip, left click, and you want to go to filters. And I add three filters for this in this order. The first one you want to search for is simple shape. And you want to mask simple shape. So that's the first one. You want to go and click the plus button again for our second filter. I like to use the blur, the Gaussian blur. I'm going to click on that. And then the last one I'm going to click on is mask apply. So I'm going to search for it and there it is mask apply. So I have those three filters right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on blur Gaussman. And you can see right here, it's at 20%. I'm going to move that to 100. And as I do that, you can see where it's blurred right there. So that's where my blur is. But I want to resize that blur. So I'm going to go click on Mask Simple Shape, that filter. And then this is where I can move it up and down. So obviously, we need to move it up. So let's go to the vertical one right there. I'm going to move it over to the right and kind of get it right there. But then I don't need it so big. So I'm going to play with this width and then the height until I get it right there. And you can click over the numbers and use the wheel like so to make it larger or smaller to kind of fine tune it. But let me get this to cover my subscribers. and then horizontal and it's for me it's still a little bit too big there we go and i think right there that's how you do it and then you can click back on blur gaussian and then you don't have to make it a hundred percent you can make it about 65 or whatever you want to. If I go all the way down to 16, you can see it doesn't quite blur it. But if I want to do that, well, about 60% or so, you can see it is blurred.